my mother decided maybe we should put Fat Mark. She didn't refer to me that, that way out loud, but I, I could see it. I think Fat Mark should be on Pee Wee Little League. I showed no interest in sports. I didn't care about sports. I was not guided that way. I never played catch with my dad because playing catch with my dad would have been like throwing the ball away. All right. <laughs> so she puts Fat Mark on Pee Wee Little League. All right, now when you're fat and you're on Pee Wee Little League, you're in the outfield because no one's going to hit that far. And if it does get out that far, it's going to hit the ground. It's going to just be bouncing. It's not a big deal. So Fat Mark is out in center field. Got a fat left fielder. Got the fat right fielder. We're just out there being fat. We're the fat outfield. <laughs> All right, maybe a little chatter, hitting the glove a little bit. Hey, bada bada, what does this even mean? Why are we saying this like this? You know, maybe a little chit chat with the other guy. Hey, you gonna get a Snickers or a snow cone after? I'm probably gonna get both. I'm gonna get a rainbow snow cone and try to eat it before it turns purple. All right, and look, I, I gotta be honest with you. I was not prone, you know, I'm fairly athletic. I could probably pull it off, but I was afraid of the ball, man. But like at that time, like, you know, batting is how I would bat. Catching. But this was me in the picture. <laughs> All right, so here's what happens. And this was a life-changing event. We're gonna try and work through this. I've made a promise to myself to work through this. I'm out there in center field, just being fat. We're having our time out there. All right, we're just kicking the dirt around. And then I heard that sound. It's unmistakable sound. Everyone knows that sound. It was the crack of a bat. And my first reaction was to look at the other guy. <laughs> and then I look over at that guy, and he's pointing at the air. And there's a ball just suspended in the air coming towards Fat Mark. The coach is saying, get under it, get under it. And I'm backing up, and I know this is like, I, yeah, you know, it's right there. And then in my memory, there's a sprinkler, all right? There, my, my heel caught on a sprinkler. I'm pretty sure it was there, all right? <laughs> I can't be sure. It might just be something I put in there to you know, buffer the shame of what's going to happen next, which is me falling backwards onto the ground and the ball bouncing off of my face. So I was under it. I got that part of the equation correct. <laughs> now, in my mind, at that point, the coach is yelling, get up, you fat fuck! Field it, fatty! Come on! Now, that's obviously revisionism. I don't think a coach <laughs> would talk that way to a fat kid, right? I probably made that up to make the shame worse. So now it's not really a ball game as much as it is a fat kid crying. Um, <laughs> Which on some level in my mind is like, well, it was all about me for that time. It would have been a better moment to be like, I caught it, I caught it, but like, yeah, that's all right. Like on some level, if you're that self-absorbed and you want to be the center of attention, it, it succeeded in that way. But see, I really think though, this is my point. I think if I would have caught that ball, I would have been a different person. I don't think I would be up here talking to you. I think I would have been a, a well-adjusted person. I would have felt that feeling of esteem and maybe gone on to, a, to play more sports. Perhaps I would have you know, now been at a pretty good job with a family and had you know, guy friends that I would say things like, you know, good talk, bro, you know. <laughs> you could, like it could have been a whole different life for me if I just caught that ball. And I, I, some part of me needs closure. So if you don't mind, I wanna go through a psychodrama here where I'm gonna walk Fat Mark off the field. I'm gonna walk Fat Mark off and just try to give him a heads up, which is a term he, d he didn't understand at this point. <laughs> just try to you know, give him a heads up of what's gonna happen. So let's go there now. I'm gonna try to coach little Fat Mark. Here we go. Wow, that was ridiculous, what just happened. <laughs> you, you were so close, you almost had that. You all right? It's okay though, it's okay. Look, I just there's a couple things I need to tell you about what's gonna happen for you. First of all, there's no going back to the dugout. This shit is done. <laughs> uh, you're not gonna, there's no more putting yourself in the position to be physically hurt. From here on out, it's all gonna be thinky pain. <laughs> um, what else can I tell you? Teamwork, that's done. No more of that. No reason to believe in that shit. 
And quite honestly, from here on out, no sports heroes, not that you had them to begin with, but here on out, just loners, uh, fragmented people, drug addicts, people who live on the margins, comedians, rock stars, those are your people. Get used to it. And also, I guess I can tell you quite honestly, it doesn't get much better after this. On, on many different levels in your life, metaphorically, this situation will play out over and over again. You're going to be very close to catching it, and then you will just end up crying. What else can I tell you about the immediate situation? Okay, uh, you're going to get off the field. Uh, your mom's going to take you to Dairy Queen. She's going to let you eat a banana split. You're going to enjoy that. And an hour later, she's going to make you feel guilty about eating it. So that's going to happen. So quite honestly, she's out too after this. You know, they're, they're both out. Mom and dad are done. Uh, what else is going to happen? Well, about 14, you start smoking cigarettes, which are really cool. But at 39, when you can't breathe, not so cool. Um, cocaine's going to come into play about 15 years old. You'll commit to that for about nine years of your adult life, which will also be very exciting, but a mistake. Um, I don't know, what, how, how can I sum this up? Okay, it's going to take a lifetime to walk this off. <laughs> and you can quit crying now on the outside. And I think the, the big payoff is that eventually, you know, because of this moment that you had on this field, and holy shit, let me just look around for a minute. No sprinkler. Um, <laughs> because of this moment here, you're going to find yourself at age 49 on a stage in a basement in New York City in front of a room full of strangers taping a special with no end to this story, really. Just no end. <laughs> So, if you'd only caught that ball, <laughs> you would have a little closure on this bit.